Good evening, good evening. Thank you all for taking the opportunity to join this live stream today. Um, and today I am speaking with the mother of Mr. James Allen Jr. And just in case you have not um, run across my page in the past and you're joining, this is your first time seeing this stream. Hello, hi, my name is Pebbles founder of Missing Lives and Trafficking. We are out here in Maryville near Safe Haven speaking with Miss Boulder. Is that correct? Boulder. Yes. Boulder. Okay. How, how are you doing today? I'm not well. Not well. I'm missing my son. Okay. And when was the last time you spoke with your son? January 20th, around five o'clock. Okay, around five o'clock. What was that conversation like? Would you like to share a little bit um, what you discussed? He was just in all these buying some food and said he was just buying some food that he was going to go home and cook something. And uh, that was the last time that I spoke to him. Okay. At what point did you realize that maybe something may be wrong or was not right? Um, he had not answered his phone okay uh, i work midnights once i get up it's like 10 o'clock mm -hmm. 10 o'clock i tried to call him phone was going straight to voicemail 10 30 straight to voicemail 11 12 1 o'clock all into the next day voicemail then when i realized he hasn't used his debit card um no social media i waited the 72 hours i contacted <laughs> police station because he was last known to be here in Hobart. Okay. Safe Haven Apartments with a friend. Okay. Um, since then, it's been nothing. Nothing on his debit card. He's not used his debit card. He's not used his social media. He has um, not used his cell phone. He has not called me. Okay. Now, my son is a vulnerable adult. Okay. In in out here in this and i just need to know where my son is i need i need to find my son okay and i saw a flyer of your son circulating on my news feed and the date i saw as the last time he was seen is january 20th is that date correct Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure we have the correct date. So we have him at an ATM machine at ten thirty, um, withdrawing sixty dollars. Okay. And an ATM machine. You're saying he at was last yes. at a speedway. Was that out here in the Holbert slash yes. Maryville area? Thirty two hundred eighty one street. Thirty two hundred eighty one street. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um. Would you like to discuss or share any information shared with you by the Hobart Police Department at this time? Um, they have just been getting um, video of the building, him leaving the building or coming in the building and um, uh, the ATM transaction, but they haven't gotten the outside cameras of uh, the Speedway to see if he returned back into the car that he came out of. Okay. Which was Lester's car. Okay. Um, and I don't want to take too much of your time up. Um, I'm making this live stream very brief for the moment. Uh, we are hoping um, to see a few others gather up in just a moment to help search for your son. Um, is there anything else that you would like to say before I end this live stream today? Somebody knows something. Something happened to my baby and I know that somebody knows something. Please say something. Find my son. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for sharing um, with Missing Lost and Traffic It this evening. And we are going to definitely stay prayerful and hopeful that you will find out what happened to your son. You will get some closure. And we're actually hoping that you can be reunified with your son. That is my best wishes and my prayer and reunified with him uh, alive. That's what we're praying for. Yes. And so... Um, um, our hearts are with you this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you.